Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm just gonna show you a couple quick settings to where you can get a perfect headshot in Red Dead Online. Now, with these settings and stuff, it's not gonna instantly make you a better player. You'll still have to kind of craft your own style, but with this, it's gonna actually give you the tools you need to actually get that headshot. Now, it's actually pretty simple to do. And like I said, you can kind of just make this method your own way after you kind of see what I'm gonna show you to do. But at the same time, you just need to work on your own method on how to be a better player as well. So real quick, I'm going to pull up the menu and I'm going to show you what you need to do to get that perfect headshot and what settings you need to set. So go ahead and break up your pause menu and just go ahead and go down to settings. So go ahead and click on controls. And once it controls, you want to actually go down to targeting first. Now you want to set that as wide. Now, the reason you want to set it as wide is because if you're not real close to a person, it'll actually pull over and lock onto the character. And then that's when you could just flip up on the joystick and go for the headshot. So I would recommend going with wide. And then go ahead and go down to look and aim sensitivity. Look sensitivity, you want to have that as high as possible because that's going to help when you're in showdown series and you need to spin around real quick and stuff when stuff is getting kind of chaotic because a lot of times you'll end up spinning around real slow and you'll get shot before you can turn around. And then also too, aim sensitivity. Now this is gonna depend on how you play. You wanna play with this a little bit. Some people will actually turn this up all the way. I've seen some people turn it down almost like what, 10%. I would recommend probably doing about 55, but now you wanna play with this a little bit until you're comfortable with it. Now you also wanna go ahead and change that in first person if you do shoot that way. Now, a lot of times, like I said, it'll actually help if you're used to Call of Duty or Battlefield. That first person will actually help you a lot more than you think. And then I would set that according as well. So you want to go ahead and back out of that and then come over here to display. So you just want to go ahead and go down until you get to weapon reticle. Right here and set that as simple. And as you can see in the display, it shows a circle that goes around it. This is just the dot. And then of course that's none whatsoever. I would set it to simple. And reticle dot size, I have mine set as small. Now basically that's the little dot in the middle. Now this is gonna actually make it to where you're not gonna shoot in the chin or the neck. You're gonna get a clean headshot because the dot's gonna be really small and it's gonna really focus in on the spot you're gonna shoot. So real quick, let's go ahead and take a look and see how it changed the reticle on the gun. Now when you go ahead and just go to click L2, which is on PS4, see how the reticle the little dot and then a reticle is real small down around it as well. Now what you want to do as you watch when I go ahead and focus on, you see how it gets smaller? Whenever it gets the smallest, that's when you want to actually pull the trigger because that's when you're going to get the perfect headshot right there. Pretty easy, pretty simple, but you get a really good precise shot this time instead of kind of all over the face and into the neck. So I want to go ahead and show you the benefit of having your targeting set at wide. I want to actually focus off the NPC right here. And when I aim, it pulls right over to him. See, I'll go ahead and pull over here. Pulls right over to him. And on this side, pulls right over to him. So, I mean, you can be pretty far away and it'll focus in really quick and see how it zeroes in really fast. So this is just me testing out on some NPCs. Of course, they're a whole lot easier to shoot than actual other players. But I just want to show you that it works the same because I know sometimes different settings work on NPCs different than they do actually in gameplay against Showdown series and stuff like that. But really quick, you just flip the joystick up and go right straight for the headshot. No problem at all. One right after another. Pretty easy, pretty simple. And now this is some footage from Spoils of War. And as you can see, as soon as I jump, jump right back up. I'm able to focus right in on the headshots. Basically almost one right after another. No problem whatsoever. Don't really have to second guess the shot. So I hope this helped you guys out. I had a lot of people asking me about it because they were struggling and stuff to get a good headshot. They kept just shooting people in the neck and shooting them in the chest. And honestly, I mean, I was there myself too. It's just settings that are in the game that were there for us to change around anyway. Just a lot of people didn't know they were there. So I hope this helped you out. If it did, I'd appreciate it if you'd like and share the video. Also, comment down below. Also, too, don't forget, subscribe, click notification bell. So whenever I have videos uploaded, you get updated right away. As always, guys, I'll catch you next time in the next video.